Hello, I'm Dean Karstens, and this is Dean's N Scale Trains. Today I'm going to show you how to light your buildings on your model railroad with a simple LED or light emitting diode such as this. This picture shows the simple circuit that is needed to power the LED light source. A DC power supply, in this example I used a 9 volt battery, a resistor to limit the current, and the LED itself. Note that the long wire on the LED always goes to the positive terminal of the power supply. The light output is directly related to the current going through the LED. The lower the resistance, the higher the light output. You should limit the current to about 20 milliamps. This translates to a minimum resistance of 250 ohms for a 5 volt power supply up to 600 ohms for a 12 volt supply. Here's an example of the LEDs that you can buy. I bought this box several years ago on eBay. Note the colors. You can have white, yellow, green, blue, red, whatever. Usually I use white to light the buildings, although sometimes I might use a yellow if I want a warmer tone. They come in two sizes, a 3mm small, which is the one I mostly use, and a 5mm larger one. You can find resistors of any size for just a few cents if you shop around on eBay. First thing I want to show you is how I put together a light stick to hold the LED. I cut down the negative terminal, negative lead, to a little bit, and I'm going to tin that. Just get a little blob of solder. Take the resistor, which in this case is a 330 ohm. Just tack weld it there. Tack solder it. For consistency, I like to use green, a green wire for the negative lead and the red for positive. Be sure to use rosin core solder, by the way, not the acid core. Then cut a positive lead And adjust everything so that the resistor body helps to keep these leads separate. Tin the red lead and solder it to the positive terminal. When everything is done, I take that assembly, and feed the wires through a soda straw. Be careful that the leads don't short out. Then I take some hot glue and glue everything together. And hot glue the bottom just to keep everything nice and tight. And that's it. Here's a very useful and inexpensive power supply that I got on eBay for just a few bucks. The two red buttons on either side can be used to increase or decrease the voltage, thus varying your general lighting.
mounted the variable power supply on a wall plate and this in turn was mounted into a cut down plastic electrical box which was then glued into the uh, fascia board. Now we put it all together. The wall wart powers the variable power supply and that in turn goes to the red and green wire and those are wired to the LED light sticks. You can have several light sticks for all of your buildings. If your wall wart is rated at 1 amp and each of your light sticks pulls 20 milliamps or less, you can have at least 50 of these wired together on your layout. Here are some standard resistance values to get you started for various voltages. I put together the Eagle River Mine Kit a few years ago. As you can see, it's lighted with four stalks that sits on a foam board base. Here it is sitting on a former layout of mine. And this is a Fowler kit I put together. It consists of two rooms, each one lit with one LED stock. So that's it for this video. If you haven't already subscribed, please sign up for my channel, Dean's N-Scale Trains, and also please give me a thumbs up. Thanks for watching.